Howdy, howdy. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to my channel, The Stone Man DeLorean. I have a badass Black Series figure review for all right here today, and this is actually going to be a two-pack, and if you already seen by the title, you know what it is, and I am super stoked to have this on my channel and to have it in my collection in general, but we are taking a look at this the, from the subline of Clones of the Republic, this badass two-pack. We have Clone Commander Gree from his comic appearance here on the left, and then here on the right is finally, 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 we have a prequel version of Yoda. No more need to try to scrounge around and try to find the SH figure arts for a decent price. Now, I'm not saying this is better than the SHF, but the fact that we have it in the Black Series, it makes me so happy, dude. He's got his chair, the council chair, which is totally new. He comes with his cane. Just such an awesome set, man. And I'm super excited to get into this. It's the second. If you look at the back of the box, you see this cool mural art. This is the second set in the Clones of the Republic line. The first one was that. Uh, Mason, uh, Mace Windu with his clone gauntlets in the 187th, I believe it is. So this looks absolutely badass. I am so happy to have this. Um, Yoda looks fantastic, man. It got the two alternate heads, the lightsaber and the hilt are two separate pieces, which I really wish that they would start doing for all lightsabers, have this cast in all one solid piece of plastic, then paint the hilt. And then this is a totally different piece. The seat looks pretty good. You see the alternate head in there. Got a smiling face and then like a kind of a serious face grimace. He's got his cane. And uh, as you can see, Commander Gree is kind of the, this is definitely the meat and potatoes of the, of the pack for sure. But that being said, this is on the, I believe this is the, no, this is the 2020. I, I was like, I'm, I'm tripping. This is the 20. For a second, I thought it was that 187. And like it, they put it on that old 2020 clone body but this is on the 2023 book i believe it looks like but i guess we'll find out in just a second give you a look a little look at the side art here there's yoda looking awesome there is gree on the side and then one more look at the back and then we'll get into this thing so i'm gonna open it up and uh we'll get a closer look at it let's do this and as always we'll just start off with accessories here and pretty typical we have the dc 15 carbine right here Cast in a gray plastic. We've seen this before in the line. I'm not going to spend too much time on it. Also have the DC-15 rifle. Also cast in a gray plastic. So that's pretty cool. And then getting on to Gree here. He looks fantastic, man. I know people would have preferred the camo green. The camo green. The camo green. The camo green Gree. <laughs> but... yeah. I, I don't know why. Well, I do know why. It's because of paint. That that paint job for that camo would have been. It, it would have made this this set even more expensive than it already is. Which, uh, to be honest, this is not a terribly expensive set by any means. But I do like this green. This like kind of like a dark forest green color on him. Like I said earlier, this is reminiscent and uh, an interpretation of his comic appearance. So. And I, I'm not going to go all into the articulation on this just because I do. If, you, if you've if you seen my or any review on the 2023 Clone Trooper Phase 1 or Phase 2, you pretty much know the gist. Uh, this is the newer body, so we had the floating knee pads, uh, deep cut shoulders and knees as well. There's butterfly joints on this figure, uh, bicep swivel, O-ring shoulder pads, and there is a painted head up underneath here, but I think this helmet is glued, so... Uh, that's kind of interesting. It's because you can totally see it's flesh tone under there. It's painted, but that being said though, he, he looks fantastic. I really do like this green color on him. The paint looks really nice, very clean, but like I said, I'm not going to go all into the articulation because I have covered this figure on my channel before. I really like this green color on here though. Super, super clean job, but so yeah, not not much to go over. Like I said, I've talked about this figure before on my channel, as well as many other collectors out there in the community. And now let's get onto what this what we were really after looking at this set. Just starting off with Yoda's accessories here. Here's the cane, casting the dark brown plastic. So I got big fingers, and I promise my nails are clean. And it's just this my my camera light makes them look yellow, but I promise my nails are clean. So there's the cane. Here's the hilt. Super, super tiny. Whoa, I about, about dropped it too. So I need to get a pair of, of tweezers. Nice paint on there. 
And this is what I would like to see in the line more. This is all one piece. You can't, this is not a removable hilt. This solid green piece goes all the way through and they painted the silver and the black on the hilt. But pretty cool. And here's something interesting that we're getting for the first time in the line, other than the Cantina set with uh, with Han and Greedo. But we got a, a Senate, or no, I'm sorry, not Senate Council Chair. We have a Jedi Council Chair. And this is pretty cool, man. It's not not a, anything crazy, but it is cast in an all gray plastic with some uh, red paint, it looks like, on here. It's even, oh, wow, it's even got like a little bit of give. It's almost like very, it's almost cushiony. That's weird. It's got some nice wrinkles and folds in the seat here. It's cool how this has some, it's got some give to it, like it's actually a cushion. So that's actually, that's a really nice touch. And we'll see how he sits in it here in just a minute. But this is the head that I'm probably going to put on my Yoda. I really like this one a lot. This green color looks great. This grimace looks awesome. The eyes are very nicely done. Show you a look at the hair real quick. Nice sculpting on the back. So yeah, I'm going to switch this one now. I like this, this one a lot more. But that being said, this one is not bad. Got a nice little smirk here. The eyes look very nicely done. I love this shade of green that they used. This also comes with some soft goods, as you can see. And I don't think this would be too difficult to take off. So I can just show you all, all the articulation a little bit easier. So, yeah, there we go. So let's get this focused in on Master Grim Master Yoda here. And you can, I, I do believe this is some reuse based off the Dagobah one. I'm not going to go pull it off my shelf right now, but I do believe this does have some reuse from the Dagobah. You can see he's got a little bit of head tilt here. Not bad. A little bit of up and down motion. Not a whole lot. Little little deep cuts here in the elbow. So you can get his elbow right to 90, which is pretty cool. Okay, so we have a vertical hinge here on the right hand, or left hand, I mean. Vertical hinge here on the, on the right hand as well. So there's no butterfly joints on Yoda, which we don't really need that. He's a really small figure. So arms goes 360 degrees, no problem. You get a nice full T out of Yoda here. Get a nice split too. Kick right up in front of him a little bit. He doesn't really have any kickback, but he does have some pretty decent knee range here. You can get far below 90 here at his knee. And there's also swivel. And getting down to the you weird feet fetish people, we have his Yoda's feet right here. Got some nice painted nails on here. Looks very nice. But not a whole lot to go over. This is a smaller figure, but... The articulation is there to get him into some cool poses that you would like to do. This is kind of what he looked like after he got was defeated by Emperor Palpatine. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to slip back on his robe real quick. Boom. There he is. Yeah, he looks pretty damn, pretty damn awesome, man. You can see the scale right next to each other. This is a very, uh, he might be a tad bit small, but I, I'd prefer him to be a little bit smaller than bigger in my opinion. Here's one shot of him sitting in the chair. Not too bad. Doesn't look pretty. It doesn't look bad. Not not at all in my opinion. It's definitely not the SHF where you can pull the seat off and then he's got a whole different uh, robe piece where the bottom half comes on and he literally, like, you sit him inside of the chair. But overall, not too bad, though. And you just kind of got, this doesn't look too bad. I'm actually pretty pleased with this. To, to be honest, I was even surprised just to even get this council chair. The Jedi Jet council chair is just a, a surprise in my opinion. I was just not expecting that. But I think he looks pretty good sitting in it. I just kind of have his feet kind of crisscrossed almost and I just kind of have him turned. But I think it uh I think it emulates to look pretty good, man. I'm 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 thoroughly impressed to be honest with you. Here's a little pose I put him in with his cane real quick. I just think this looks really cool. Then it looks really good. It's definitely not the way I'm gonna display him, but it's it's cool to have the cane nonetheless. Just a simple ball peg here. You can see I just popped this, the smiling, the grin, grin face off. There he is. I like this head sculpt a lot, man. Just a quick side-by-side -side comparison here with Clone Commander Gree. Here we have Captain Rex, Commander Cody, and Commander Fox. 
And these look freaking badass together, man. Clones, you just you can't ever have too many too many clones, man. Call me a cloner. It is what it is. Next up standing for the side by side comparisons. Here is Count Dooku on the left, and on the right is definitely contender, maybe even figure of the year for 2024, the Super Battle Droid. Absolutely love this figure. Now standing in for the side by side comparisons. Here I have on the left General Anakin Skywalker, General Obi Wan Kenobi, and Padawan Ahsoka. More prequel Jedi here. I love the way these look together. And uh, here on the far left is Mace Windu, then Kiati Mundi, and probably another top 10 contender for figure of the year for 2024. And then on the right is Plo Koon. And I think the proper way to send off the side by side comparisons, I think this is just the way to do it. Here is Emperor Palpatine out of this year, too. Maybe even might be in the top 10. But these look, him and Yoda look absolutely awesome next to each other. And here's the older Yoda uh, here on the right. This is the one that came with the uh, Dagobah training two pack with Luke. And you can just see, like, obviously, this is meant to be, this is an older version of, of Yoda here on the right. But man, what what a difference this, this has made just in this short amount of time. Like I said, I do know that this, I do understand that this one on the left is supposed to be a younger version, but it's just so cool. And they're damn near the same height. They're pretty much exact. This is them flat on the table. And yeah, they're, they're damn near identical. But I'm not going to go through all, all the reuse that's on there because it's just underneath the, that brown suit that's underneath the cloak and this cloak. But there is some slight reuse. But as you can see, these... These head sculpts are brand new head sculpts, as well as the second one right here, the smiling face as well. Y'all, I highly recommend picking up this two pack. Uh, got it off Shop Disney. Very, very easy, exclusive. That very easy set to get. I, I, I have to admit, man, it did sell it on Hasbro Pulse within like the first hour, hour and a half when it went up a few months back. Uh, I forget exactly when that was now, but most of the time you can always bet they're going to restock on Shop Disney or. You know, just like they, they did for the for the Mason 187th pack. But just super, super stoked and elated to have a prequel version of Yoda in the line. And this Gree, I know people wanted the camo Revenge of the Sith version of Gree, but this is a good-looking clone trooper, man. And it's, they didn't cheap out on us like the Mace Windu Clones of the Republic pack with that 187th and throw it on that 2020 buck. This is on the brand new 2023 clone buck. So definitely thankful for that. And this is just a... Fantastic looking set. These two head sculpts for Yoda are phenomenal, and I'm just very thankful to have a, a, a prequel version of Yoda in the line. I'm, I'm kind of hoping that they give us a single release of this because I wouldn't mind even having a, a version of Yoda without the chair, to be honest. Like, I'd pay $25 full price for this version of Yoda. Call, call me a shell, but th this is just a crucial part of Star Wars to have as prequel version of Yoda, man. But. That's pretty much all I got to say about this set. I absolutely recommend picking this up. Uh, you might get free shipping, you might not. I had to pay shipping, so it ended up being close to sixty bucks. But it's just it's it was worth every penny, man, to have this Yoda on the shelf. They look, it looks fantastic, man. But I hope you all enjoyed this review today. Leave me a like and subscribe if you did. I'd really appreciate it if you check out some of my other content as well. I do Star Wars: The Black Series, Marvel Legends, NECA, McFarlane, whatever I think is cool and fascinating that I'm into or has I have nostalgia for and I want to share with y'all. But like I said, leave me a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. I hope you did. Hope you're having a great day or night whenever you're watching this. May the force be with you. I have waited for this moment a long time, my little green friend. If so powerful you are, why leave? Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering. Once more, the Sith shall rule the galaxy. The attempt on my life has left me scarred and deformed.